Well, we've all heard of cattle dogs, sheep dogs, right? Yes. yes. Have we heard of them? Yes. yes. Thank you. But how about a sheep donkey? Oh. Crickets. Oh. Well, one woman in the year, New South Wales, Hunter Valley, has devoted her life to giving donkeys a second chance and training them to help out in some very unusual ways. Mike Dalton has the story. In the ICU of Donkey Central, patient Zora is undergoing a stall side examination. She's a very old donkey and she hasn't been well for a while. <laughs> and waiting at the rails for the prognosis, as always, is Joanne Cocos. How long have you had Zora for? Oh, Zora's been here probably 18 months now. Max and Irish in the beds next door know Joanne's love for the original beast of burden. First domesticated animal, done more for mankind than any other beast, and then the most ridiculed. So it upsets me. <laughs> and Joanne has little tolerance for those intolerant of the burrow. They have trouble handling their toy poodles, you know, without... <laughs> you're, very, you're very hot about this issue, Joe. I can tell. <laughs> when you've got a well-bred, stud-bred animal that's it's properly trained, well looked after, you, they, they make the best pets. In the recovery paddock of Donkey Central, patients are left to roll and recuperate. However, Joanne's Good Samaritan Donkey Sanctuary is far more than a hospital. How you going? Oh, good. A few minutes down the road, amongst fields made limerick green from recent rain, is Donkey Heaven on Earth, where the wild, the forsaken and the orphaned find home. And for some, the chance of a new life as a guard donkey. They've been used for guard work for thousands of years. If you've got them running with sheep, they, the sheep are lucky because the donkey actually protects the sheep as well. But it's not really in his mind protecting the sheep. He's, a, he's protecting himself and his land. But once they've bonded with those sheep, the sheep will follow the donkey around and the donkey will protect his property and the sheep will get protected as well. For Karen West, growing Damara meat sheep, her flock have now grown to know and trust Jacket. In the last season, this area was impacted with um, roaming packs. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where they came from. Um, we did get, we did lose a couple, but we feel having Jacket in with them minimised the impact. He's quite vicious, um, which is what we want. He'll alert. He'll try and run them away from danger. But um, if they come in too close and he feels really threatened, he'll go in with teeth and hooves. You know, he's got the left and the right hook going. That's right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's good. He's valuable that way too. But until that duty calls, Joanne's herd will continue to graze under her kindly eye and the wide open sky. Like an ear scratch, do you? Yeah, I like get my ear scratched as well too. Don't blame you. That's beautiful. Lovely story. story. Lovely story. Mike specialises in those. Good music too. Like the cult from Old Regret. Yeah. Eh? In relation yeah. to donkeys. Yeah, they're a, they're a bit like Brumbies. Wouldn't have gone so well down that hill, would he, on a donkey? Probably not.